Hello folks, uh, I uh, recently saw a blog by uh, a gentleman by the name of uh, uh, Olson. Uh, let me see what exactly the name was. Uh, Ray Olson from Land Corporation. And this is a very useful uh, piece of information that's not widely available. So I decided to build a video clip which uh, explains the ideas in that blog uh, by uh, the gentleman that I mentioned in a, in a visual way. All right, so here's the situation. There are actually two issues involved. First, let's concentrate on the first issue as discussed in that blog. Uh, we have a product here, assembly, and in it there is a track and there is a block. So there is a block and there is a track. Okay, and this is all saved. This is all saved in a folder. You can see that, it's already saved. Okay, so let's say that I uh, uh, close this, I'm closing this, and I'm going to create a, in a part, different part, uh, but name it the same as track. Okay, so let me see for a second. So uh, let me see, for, uh, let me see, uh, uh, file, new, okay. Let's make a part file. Part file. Okay, and we'll call, we're going to call it the track properties. Track. Same as what is already say. Uh, same as what's already saved in that other folder. Track. And let's make it. So on a convenient plane, on that horizontal plane, I will sketch. Uh, a circle and then pattern. So my, pra my, my, my track looks, instead of a, a straight uh, block, straight path, it's going to be a, a cylindrical path. Okay, now, what I would like to do is I would like to save this same file, this file, in that same folder. So let's say file, save management. There is a track, save as. Same name. Basically, it's going to replace this, okay? It's going to replace the old track that's already there. So we say save. It's going to tell us that there is already there is already a file by that name in this folder. Do you want it to be overwritten? And the answer is yes. And then we say okay. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. Let's look at our folder. This is the original product. This is the new track. Okay, actually, uh, this is the new track. And this one is the, the old block. Okay, so let us try to open the product file. Notice what happened. It says, the file in the following list could not be found or contained the wrong information for the active document. Notice that it's referring to two the UUID1 uh, folder, and it says track, this track cannot be found. It is in my folder. If you look at it, in that same folder, there is a file called track, but Katir is saying that it cannot be found. So there is a way to fix this. I'm going to close that. So what you do, you go to edit. Uh, let's see that on the links, links, edit links. Notice that this is the track that's causing a problem, not loaded. So what you do is you say replace. Replace. Don't say load, it's not going to do you any good. Replace. And it says, okay, what do you want to replace that missing, uh, missing item with? Well, obviously, I want to replace it with track. And we say, okay. And notice that. It popped up. Okay. Now, suppose we save this. We exit and go back to the product and start it again. There is no problem. So, when we replaced the original track with a new one, the link was lost, and that's what that block is referring to. All right. So, that takes care of the first item. I will prepare the 
another video segment which covers the second part of the blog. Okay?